They're hard to see. In fact, I've talked to people who live in this area, and there's a fairly good population of fisher here. Um, they're almost entirely nocturnal. It's very uncommon for people to see a fisher. They're small. They're about the size of a large house cat, but they only come out usually just before dark, and they're active at night, and then they go back into the trees, uh, into den sites, or resting sites during the daytime, and so you just don't see them uh, unless you, know, you have some way to monitor them using cameras or maybe putting a radio collar on them. It's very uncommon to actually see a fisher out in the wild like you would see a mountain lion. A mountain lion is much larger, a bear is much larger, and so your chances of seeing those animals because they're, they're more obvious than the fisher. Um, they're just not really um, out in the daytime when people are, are looking around doing their hikes and going backpacking or camping. Two different types of, uh, of habitat features that they use. We call them resting sites uh, and den sites. Resting sites and den sites typically tend to be in uh, large diameter trees, snags, um, and black oaks. Um, trees that are large enough that over time branches have broken off, there's been some decay, and there's, there's a cavity that has formed, and the fishers find those cavities and they use those to rest up during the day uh, and also to produce their offspring during the, uh, during the spring period.